And I don't care, I'm just sipping on this yak They can try to call me in, but I'ma be high I'm at the end of my road, I got a bottle And some edibles, I hope I hit the lotto I'm just fading away I'm fading to stay I ain't going into my road, I got a bottle And some edibles, I hope I hit the lotto I'm just fading away Yo, yo, what up? Welcome back to Planet Breakdown, Hug Life. Hug Life in the building. Look, we back with another Bill Burr uh, comedy reaction. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is uh, highly requested. Epidemic of gold digging whores. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's go, man. Let's see. It's funny already. I'm afraid to get married, man. Why would why wouldn't as a, why man wouldn't be afraid to get married at this point? You know, look at Kobe. Look at the shit he's going through right now. Mm -hmm. right? Guy's getting a divorce. His wife's gonna get seventy million bucks. Never hit a layup in her life. You know? Can anybody explain these divorce settlements? Can anybody make sense of these fucking things? Tiger Woods' wife, $250 million. She's a babysitter with a quarter of a billion fucking dollars. <laughs> a babysitter. Quarter of a billion dollars. Somebody, go ahead. Somebody, explain, justify it. Yeah, quarter of a billion. Not a quarter of a million. million. Quarter, quarter of, of a billion. billion. Sheesh. Justify it. What? What? He cheated on her? I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. He cheated on her. Great. The relationship's over right then. Kobe cheated, right? Shouldn't that relationship been over right then? Why did she hang around like some jaded cop for three years trying to get her fucking pension? Right? Get that ten years in? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's too harsh. That shit bothers me, man. Dude, there is an epidemic of gold digging whores in this country. And every night I put on the news and I'm waiting for someone to address it. Thanks. Every night, never see it, you know? And every night I bring up gold digging whores and the whole crowd pulls back like I'm up here talking about Bigfoot, right? <laughs> like I'm saying the moon's made out of cheese or something. I'm talking about whores, people. They're everywhere. <laughs> like I'm saying the How moon many? made out of cheese or something. How many more great men? I'm up here telling you this real shit. Like I'm telling you, that. Like, I'm, like I'm talking about big, like, like yo, don't look at me like that. Oh man, hey. it's so quiet in here. God damn, I don't get it. What is it? Is it women? Do you think I'm calling you? I'm not calling any woman here a whore, okay? So don't pull back. That, that's not fair, okay? If you brought up pull wife back. beaters, pull I would, I would like pull back. I get it. These guys hitting women, they need to be stopped. We gotta understand that gold digging whores are the wife beaters for men. Is this? Yeah, they are. They're the wife beaters the for fact, men. Gold digging yeah. whores are the wife beaters for, for men. men. That's a Dang, bar. That's a bar. That's a bar. That's a bar, dog. Whoop the niggas, niggas asses out here, yeah, boy. Whoop the ass, boy. They need to stop. They whoop the niggas asses out here, boy. They need to stop. And that gold digging whores are the wife beaters for men. Yeah, they are. Facts. We don't have that Rihanna lumped up photo in the end. So it's not obvious. So it's not obvious. It's in the eyes. It's in the lines in your face. It's in Mel Gibson's high-pitched voice on the answering machine. I had to give up my Laker tickets, right? That is the sound of a man being taken for everything he's got. <laughs> oh. Well, Mel Gibson went crazy on that damn Amazon machine, dog. I got my Lakers sticking. I got my Lakers sticking. <laughs> That's the sound of a man who got them getting his ass with. <laughs> he getting, oh. he getting beat. Oh my god. <laughs> what he saying now? You know what I mean? I had to give up my leg stickers, dog. <laughs> he ain't got nothing else, boy. She taking it all. At least dog. he had the game. At least he had the game. I'm giving up she my top down away. He got no guy to give up my leg stickers.
But oh. he had that high pitched voice, dog. Oh. Oh, boy. Mel Gibson said a whole lot of shit Dude. I didn't like. But that shit is funny right there. <sighs> oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy. <laughs> boy, that's funny. Okay. okay. I hope you see, dog. No, that shit. <sighs> you remember that Mel Gibson tape? Yeah, I remember that shit, dog. He was mad, boy. Yeah, he was mad, boy. He was mad, boy. He said, I hope you get raped by a pack of niggas. <laughs> well, I can never forget that no. one, dog. Like, but he, she I was, remember it, dog. She would, she would beat his ass, boy. He was, she was literally the white beater for men, yeah, boy. She was, boy. She had that boy saying all kind of shit, boy. <laughs> I like this thing. <laughs> Uh, oh. High pitched voice on the answer. It's in the lines in your face. It's in Mel Gibson's high pitched voice on the answering machine. I had to give up my Laker tickets, right? That is the sound of a man being taken for everything he's got. Thanks. I gotta tell you, since I'm envious of women, okay? I had to give up my Laker tickets. It solves, but at least it. Oh, oh my god. That was Ooh, funny. that was a good laugh right there, boy. That was funny. That was funny. Oh. Hey, I'm envious of women, okay? I'm not saying your problems get solved, but at least they're taken seriously. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? People you got one eight hundred numbers, you get you got, you got ribbons, there's groups. Mm-hmm. People give a shit. Anything happens to a guy is just considered funny. <laughs> Something like we laughing right stick now. Off, threw in the garbage disposal and turned it on. People thought it was hilarious. They were like, hey, hey, Stumpy, nobody cares. <laughs> you think if a guy removed a woman's titty and threw it in the dryer, anybody would be joking about it the next day? <laughs> threw in the dryer. The entire country would grind to a halt. There'd be a moment of silence. The NFL would have some special colored headband everybody had to wear mm-hmm. for an entire month. The most effeminate color they could possibly come up with. All my heroes are going down. Arnold Schwarzenegger, another great man. Another great man. Taken down by that gold digging whore of a man he's got. And I'm not not saying he's not a piece of shit for doing what he did. It was a piece of shit move. But how come only he got chastised? What about the maid? Why was she called the maid the, that entire story? She was never called a whore, ever. <laughs> Just boggled my mind. She knew his wife, first name basis, played with their kids, fucked her husband in their own goddamn bed. That's right down the checklist. First ballot Hall of Fame whore, mm-hmm. right there. Mm-hmm. First ballot Hall of Fame. First ballot. Never. Why do you think she hooked up with them? Because of that 1987 flat top he's still rocking? <laughs> giant space between his teeth I could put this mic cord through? Well, then maybe it's all that kindergarten cop money laying around the goddamn bedroom. <laughs> kindergarten cop money. money. Feds. No, it's awful. It's a horrific thing to see as a guy, watching guys go through that shit, you know? And then there's no, there's no sort of examination of it. They just go, ah, he's an idiot. Hey, he's stupid. <laughs> that guy's stupid. If that guy's stupid, what the fuck am I, right? <laughs> Does it even make sense? Why would you do that? Why would you accomplish all that and then fuck it up? hooking up with one of the ugliest human beings I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> not saying I'm a prize, I'm just saying, you know? <laughs> not saying I'm a prize. <laughs> it's gotta be something beyond that, right? You know what I think it is? I think it comes down to the way he talks, you know? <laughs> that dude should be unloading trucks in Transylvania. <laughs> that should be, that should have been the height of his success. But because he's a great man, he had the balls to move to America. Became famous for lifting weights. I lift weights, nobody gives a shit. He lifts weights. Ah, ah, ah. He's a truck he loader from famous. Transylvania. He's unloading trucks in Transylvania. Trucks in Transylvania. Transylvania dog. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. This dude is hilarious, dog. He lifts weights. Ah, ah, ah. Become super famous. 
Did he rest on his laurels? No. Next challenge. I'm going to become an actor despite the fact that nobody can really understand me. <laughs> Against all odds, he starts <laughs> making movies. Get down. There's a bomb. Get out of there. <laughs> He's one of the biggest blockbuster stars of all time. What are you doing next, Arnie? I think I'm mad at Kennedy. There's no fucking way you can do that. Bam, he does it. Cherry on top. I'm running for governor of a state I can't even pronounce, and he wins the election. Why wouldn't this guy think he couldn't bang his maid in his own bed and get away with it? Duh. He's been in his own. The way he break it down, I was like, yo, why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he? He get away, do anything. <laughs> Thanks. It's a bomb. Get out the hill. <laughs> and there's a bomb. Get out of here. I think he couldn't bang his maid in his own bed and get away with it. This dude has been in the zone for over four decades. <laughs> Thanks. Four decades. Nothing but net. Four decades. Nothing but net. In my own bed, dude. That's a layup. Are you serious? Yeah. I had a hit movie with the midget. I don't even need a condom. Right? And then what happens? The smoke clears. Then all these trolls come out of the woodwork and start judging this great man. Did he just get in it real quick? These fucking old guys who never got it. Did he just get in it real quick? He got in it real quick, though. Real quick, though. Uh, one leg in it too, boy. You got one leg in it, got one leg in it too, boy. <laughs> Yo, uh, Bill Burr got to be the funnest dude to be around at the family reunion, bro. Boy, what you say, Thanksgiving, boy? boy. I want to go have lunch with him and Dave Chappelle. Oh my goodness. Oh, he ain't gonna be able to eat nothing. He gonna be laughing the whole time. He be time. spitting it up the whole time. I tell you, boy. Ugh. This dude was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. This great man. All these, then all these trolls come out of the woodwork and start judging this great man. All these fatties, these fucking old guys who never got any with their jowls, coming on TV, absolutely reprehensible behavior. <laughs> What kind of a public servant? His, his, his legacy is fraud! <laughs> like, they have any idea what it's like to be tempted at that level, right? Like, they have groupies as they waddle out to their mercury tracer, parked on the other side of a dumpster. Really? You're beating them off? <laughs> You're beating them off? off. <laughs> this guy, he's not a great man anymore? Terminator doesn't count? Is that what the fuck you're telling me? Because he fucked Alice? Really? He's still not a great man because he did that. Then that's the whole thing's over. Anybody here think they could move to Austria, learn the language, become famous for working out, then be a movie star, then marry into their royalty and hold public office? How many lifetimes would you need? I'm on my third attempt at Rosetta Stone Spanish. I, how can I judge these guys? I can barely handle the temptations of Facebook. I'm going to judge Tiger Woods. Fags. I golf. I don't walk off the 18th hole and there's a busload of Scandinavian women waiting to fuck my brains out. Sorry, ladies. Gotta go home to the wife. Right? He cold, boy. He cold. And there's no help out there for guys. There isn't. There's nothing out there to help you handle becoming rich and famous. There's nothing to prepare you for that, for that platoon of whores that's going to form on the horizon. Right? Like Braveheart. Faces painted, skirts on, will run down the hill, they'll jump on your dick in front of your wife. They don't give a shit. It's not even a handbook out there. I saw one article written about it on, time, on the cover of Time magazine. It said, why do so many rich, famous, and powerful men act like absolute pigs? Right? And the article was actually written by a woman. That's like me writing a book, the third trimester, and what to expect. Right. Ladies, you're gonna feel a pressure. Mm -hmm. No. Right. I hear that. Did the speaker die? 85. You have no idea what it's like to have a dick. 24-7. Do it. Do it. Fuck it. Do it. That's... Then why is this woman telling me what it's like to have a dick? That makes no sense. You have no idea what it's like to have a dick. 24-7. Do it. Do it. Fuck it. Do it. That's what it's saying. <laughs> do it. Do it. Yeah. Do it. That's how 
we survived as a species. Every man in here is programmed to fuck 85% of the women in this room. Right? He came in a Yeah, G. we are. Do it, do it, fucking do it, you know? It's just that you won't. That's the only reason why we don't, you know? <laughs> That's not you keeping your dick in check, you know? Some guy at, at Home Depot working there, he wants to fuck just as many women as a celebrity, right? But he, he can't do it because whores don't care about lumber, right? <laughs> But the second he hits the fucking lottery, all of a sudden, you know that, do it, do it, fuck it, do it, you know? That wasn't affecting his life, then all of a sudden these whores show up, I'll do it, I'll suck it, I'll do it, right? <laughs> no, somebody's got, somebody's got to step up, all right? I'm not even blaming whores, really. Just, guys, we're fucking idiots, what are we doing? Why are we working so hard and then giving it all away to some chick who did three shifts at a, at a fucking Hooters, you know? <laughs> They're fucking bums. Sitting there with fucking Dorito dust in their cleavage, walking around with hundreds of millions of dollars. I'm sick of that shit. That's what the law says. hundred years ago, I could beat you with a fucking mop handle. I'd be like, well, that's what the law says. Doesn't make us right. Right. I'll make it right. <laughs> oh my God. He, he cold, bro. He raw, boy. He raw. Well, hundred years ago, I could beat you down with a mop handle. Don't make, right. don't make it right. It was allowed. Don't make it right. Don't make it right. He cold, bro. Totally, totally. Fucking mop handle. I'll be like, well, that's what the law says. Doesn't make us right. Facts. He no, hit it's him. unreal. He hit And him. all this shit's going down, and we don't. We, we're not doing anything. What are we doing? Same old shit. Sitting around watching Shark Week, right? <laughs> <laughs> watching shit about poisonous snakes half a world away, just filling your head up with all this useless information. What to do if you come face to face with a Bengal tiger? Don't look at it, don't look away. Slowly back up as you push your friend forward. Right? <laughs> All this useless information, yet hanging between your legs is this thing that could crumble your entire empire seven minutes or less. Don't know a fucking thing about it. Seven minutes or Even less. Even worse, you think it's your friend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know why? Because your dick, your dick's like a dreamer. You know? Your dick believes. It's like a motivational speaker. I don't give a shit what question you ask it, it's always like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It sounds like a plan. Exit strategy. Later. We'll be fine. Thanks. Where's your dick when you get caught, right? Then it's just slumped over. Like, hey, I thought it was a good idea. Yeah. You have to know that. Dude, your dick, if your dick was a third base coach, it wouldn't hold anybody up. It'd just be fucking waving people around. Everybody, go in standing up. You got it. You got it. Oh, shit, here she comes. Slide, slide, slide. Oh, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for coming out. Oh, I hope you had as good a time as I did. Thank you. Yo. That was awesome. He called, uh, well, Bill, cold. That's great. That's a great Bill, stand up. Bill, right cold, boy. That's a great stand up right there. Please request more. Facts. Yo. Yeah. Yes. Man, he was talking facts in there. He was talking facts. He was talking some cold facts in there. Hey man. I love I love how he set up like his setups is crucial. His setups it, it like you would think it's cr like cruel or harsh what he's saying, but then you realize like damn the the way he his setups dog that's why I say he remind me of Dave Chappelle dog the yeah, setups the way he set up on a sports <clears throat> snake and built him up you yeah. know what I'm saying and then you know what I'm saying like, like he did all this and like uh, of course he was like got that bank in the man was a layup yeah <laughs> yeah. This, like, that setup was mean. That was uh, a mean setup, right there. Then, like he he put it out there like y'all don't be so quick to judge people. Yeah, don't be so quick to judge men. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all don't fucking know what men go through. Yeah, that shit cold. That bro. shit was cold. Hey, yeah. I enjoyed that. Facts. That's some real shit. Y'all already know what to do, man. Send us some more requests, man. Peace, love, and respect. Get somebody hug today. Squirt work. And I don't care. I'm just sipping on this yak. They can try to call me in, but I'm a bee. I'm in the mind.